So the temperature right now is about 42, according to this thermometer. Sorry, I can't read that right. 44. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, we'll see if it actually is that or not. Um, the thermometers that we have around don't always uh, tell the temperature true to what it actually is. Hey Clon Hoppers, wanted to um, talk to you today about us being in freezing weather. Uh, we got our first um, taste of uh, 20 degree weather last night and yes our animals waters were, um, were frozen but the sun came out and there's no clouds so it thawed out pretty good. Normally when we do is we'll bring their waters in for the rabbits and then let them sit in front of our um, infrared heater and let that kind of um, thaw them out. And then for the uh, chickens and the goats and the dogs, we um, will break up that ice and then just add water um, if they're getting low on water. Um, because as long as they can get to the water, they'll be fine. So yeah, I'll I'll show you what it looks like. Hopefully, there's still some ice in some of their their buckets and and, and things. But for the waterers, for the rabbits, I'm probably not going to bring them in because they I already tested them and the the water comes through um, the little nipple that we put on them. So so just to show you, yes, the water has thawed out. Um, so we won't be able to uh, show you what I actually do whenever it is frozen. Hopefully, we can get that. Um, at a later date when we get more freezing weather. So I did find a bucket that did have some ice in it. That's how, th well, it's probably thicker earlier this morning, but that will uh, melt over there and give that water so yeah that is a coffee filter that's in there don't know how that got in there but <laughs> it's probably one of the dogs um, anyways just wanted to show you what it did look like whenever we do have frozen water in these buckets so I went ahead and went through all the waters to see if uh, any of them still had any ice in them. The chickens waters actually did have some um, very loose ice ar uh, around the little lip um, where they actually drink their water, but it was easy just to put my finger in and pop that ice out. Um, normally when it gets really thick, it makes it hard to pop out. Um, and so you gotta kinda like peck at it and actually break up the ice till you can get down um, low enough to where the ice will crack apart and then you can pull it out um, and then you got to check the um, the little dome top um, so that you so that doesn't have ice and it looks like it's feeding really well so I don't have to worry about that and I also had to check the goats water and then they didn't have any ice in theirs either so um, everything is good on that part um, so all the animals do have water and are getting water and don't have to worry about that because that is one of the things we have to worry about whenever um, it does get icy like most most homesteaders um, living in the U.S. they have to uh, make sure that the water isn't um, frozen so that the animals can actually get their water um, so they don't dehydrate or um, or anything like that so so that's the the day on the homestead in case you guys were wondering that piping that's right there we're actually going to use for when we turn that wood walkway into a concrete walkway because as you can tell it's falling apart <laughs> and it needs to be replaced um, but we're going to use those those black tubes for drainage um, because we are sloped like that on this property um, so we got to make sure it doesn't uh, collect anywhere where we're trying to walk. 
so that'll be a fun project probably probably in the summer or not the summer in the spring maybe maybe in the summer depending on how how things are going and how busy we are so the video push the thumbs up to like the video also hit that subscribe button also the bell so that you can get notifications when our videos come out check us out on our social media pages too we have facebook and pinterest and soon we'll have instagram the links are below bye y'all <laughs>